Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ Mons, a fourth day in a row. I'm pretty sure this is a record. New and updated ones are out now for Farm Sim 22. 17 mods released today on the in game mod up. All platforms got nine new, two updates, and PC Mag players got three new and three updates. Of course, as always, we're going to look at each mod, including customization of features. That way, you can better decide which mods you want to download and which ones you don't. Starting off with our new ones for all platforms, we have the Lucid FK Intense Pack. This is for Black Sheep modding, and it's one of their first mods in a while. We have a three pack here all three could do the exact same thing with the same customization options single double and triple axle with working widths of 15 18 and 22 meters it's all at 13 miles an hour solid fertilizer and lime let's show them off let's start with a big one well let's show the big one 300 horsepower on this one required the 22 meter spread at 13 miles an hour as mentioned wheel brands we have trelleborg as a start but we can do michelin bkt vredestein and back in we cannot change any of those so whatever you see is what you get we're going with the redstone additional lighting we have yes and no it's on the back beacons we have a couple different sets here too we have type one type two three four and so on so we have all of the halogens all the leds that basically gave them all we do have a warning dry on the back yes or no then we have color options we do have this like custom orange color that black sheep mining have put together i think it looks pretty cool uh let's go with pink just so you can see all the pieces that are going to be changing so there you go we got that design color we'll change this up to maybe a blue there you go check that out uh design let's go orange for this one so that's going to be on the tips it looks pretty cool hey you could really do some neat stuff with this and the rim colors of course we've got all kinds of stuff including all of our chromes and things like that it's pretty sweet and a license plate and hey since we've got a lot of case mods coming out tomorrow here's a nice little setup for case next we have the romaco u436 hhp for 4.55 pack a lot going on there with that name we have three cultivators in here we have that uh 4.5 4.5 h and the 4.0 hp these are going to require different things and need different things we have the first two which are 4.5 meters each we have wing shares of yes and no we have main color of a couple different blues and then design color which are going to change those times down at the bottom 195 horsepower 4.5 meters at eight miles an hour then we go to the same size but little bit bigger setup this is trilled versus a uh, three-point hitch well this three-point hitch you know what i mean this one's all the same throughout with uh, those tires we have trailer board which looks super good those are the 421s love those bkt vertistan and back in again we do have standard and wire tire setups for those two fenders we have yes and no support wheels these are round towards the front wing shares just like on the previous model and then the same color options like we had on the previous model so that's pretty cool and then the last one this is the smaller version four meter and we have the same customization options as the first one and we got a pile of placeables as well so this is pretty darn cool this mod is the addable triggers mod and it may just look like triggers that are on the ground but it is so much more basically this allows you to mock use these with any building so pretend there's a building behind it now this isn't just a silo system that looks like it's on the middle air it's hanging onto the side of the building and things like that this could be used for things where you've got a building that can't be used for something there's a lot on the map and if you own the land you could build things which means you could use things like this for example in silos we have the hayloft that we see right here it holds 250,000 liters we also have bell and pallet storage here need a vehicle workshop there's one of those in tools and there's a bench to sleep on in farmhouses it also says there's a silo but for some reason i can't find that but we do have productions there's basically all the productions look at this so they're all like this size right here so no matter what you pick you've got that but it's a five thousand dollars for the production which is super duper cool <laughs> i love this so much uh we've got a bakery on there we've also got carpentry cereal factory dairy grain mill oil mill great processing we also have spinnery sugar mill and the tailor shop so we have all of these different things which you could choose from and they're factories so like if i wanted to take this great processing and put it right here in front of the store as long as i own the land i could do that and now that building technically becomes that it's, it's not it's this trigger but it's pretty cool there's also a few selling points as well we have the generic station there and we have another generic station here so kind of one for productions and one for all of your other crops this is a really really neat mod this has a lot of just like oh yeah that's a great idea to it man hey if you're doing production chains or you need to utilize some buildings that you can't delete hey 
use them now. Let's talk about fuel tanks for a moment. We have the old fuel tank. So there's actually old and new in here as well. So don't worry too much about that. I love the little drawings on these, they're super cute. Uh, they all hold 3000 liters and there's actually a branded version of this on PC today. So we'll talk about that later. We're gonna jump in, we're gonna jump into containers. You can see we've got four of them right here. And one of the coolest things is some of these can have their colors change. So we've got this one, which changes. And then we have this one, which changes. So you can, you basically got an old red and green. And then we've got custom colors for another new one and an old one without the designs. Next, bunker in a wood shed. Uh, this is a, a shed that has a bunker in it. It's not a silage bunker, so the terminology might be a little bit misleading or confusing there, but we do have mods where we can put bunkers in buildings like this, so maybe just use those. Next, we have a set of modern houses. We have 13 house types, mirrored and non-mirrored, nine different texture sets, one variation uh, with and one variation without solar. We've got a Picked a few here because there's, I don't know, like a million of these. <laughs> Jump into decorations, go into others, and you can see a whole lot of stuff. Again, you can see there with with or without, mirrored and unmirrored. There's just there's so many houses. This is another variant right here. If you like this style for whatever reason, the odd thing is, yeah, there's a bunch of houses and that's cool, but, but you can't use any of these. You can't go in them, you can't do anything like that. So. It's, it's awesome that we've got a lot of different versions and a lot of different variants, but they're completely useless almost. Your last mod mod other than maps today for all platforms are the irrigation sprinkler heads. These can be set up like fences. They don't work, so just heads up, but if you're somebody like me and well, you had to put these things out every year and <laughs> into the garden, uh, you may want to use these on your farm or something like that. So uh, here we go. We've got these. I'm having a real difficult time deleting them. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Uh-oh, that's not good. Yeah, it ain't deleting nothing. Anyway, uh, go into landscape, or not landscape, but decorations in your fences, and then down at the very end, you've got these guys. Now, we've got irrigation sprayers of 12.2, 18.2, 24, 27, 30, and 33 meters each. So, you click one and then drag and it'll put one every well 30 meters if you want to you can do that that is very very far i, I think ours were probably like 10 feet apart but uh yeah just heads up uh, i'm unable to delete these i can't even use my mobile workshop to delete them uh, if you figured out how to remove these eh, please let me know like i said that's all the mods but we do have a couple maps for you guys first one is harvest valley from barnson v three it does have a required mod we'll talk about that at the end but it is not listed on the mod hub right now it's crude oil production if you're curious pda brings us a lot we have a multifunctional farm whatever that means 20 fields with one meadow dlc precision farming um set up buying animals as always several different sales stations train vehicles traffic pedestrian traffic machine shop gas station forestry areas toys to find which there's 20 collectibles here biogas plant crude oil as mentioned and forest machines for starters so lots and lots of different stuff to do here it is a flat map fairly basic all things considered we got some big old square fields we do own kind of the middle of the map right here so we get a uh, forestry area there we have the multifunctional main farm and then a couple of i think those are barley fields if it looks correct uh, let's pop over to that uh, middle farm and see what we've got here multifunctional farm indeed lots of things here all of the animals kind of looks like they took a i don't know a flat part and we're like yeah ah, everything goes here bam <laughs> it's all base uh base equipment so if we want to we can go through and delete everything and start from scratch definitely new farmer mode is the way to go here because you could just sell all this stuff and get some free money here is your crop calendar and owned items there are a lot so let's see if we can hit them all in small tractors with the massey 6s in medium tractors with the massey 8s and 7s 
I see a pattern. Large tractors, we have the John Deere 7R, well, pattern broken. And then we have the new Holland CH770 for a combine. Forestry machines bring us the Rana H21D and F20D. Telehandlers, we have the new Holland TH7. And in cars, we have the Pickup 2017 and the Retriever. And we do have a lot of other stuff, a bunch of tippers. We've got auger wagon, header to go with the combine harvester, stone picker. We do have a Limkin plow. It's a pretty good plow, to be honest with you. A couple big cultivators, disc harrow. We have a power harrow, which matches a uh, little bit of our cedars here, which is also power, power harrows. Uh, we do have a, a planter there as well, roller, fertilizer spreader. We have a baler with a wrapper on it. We have a collector there, a telehandler bucket, and a header trailer. You basically got everything you need. So uh, uh, easy starting farm, new production stuff with the crude oil. I mean, not a bad place to start. Plus, I mean, look at this. You, you got that. Wait a minute. What? What was in the air? What is this? What? What is this? What is? What are we doing? You can't see it from below, but you sure can see it from above. Hey, if you can get up to this cell point, good luck. What even is that cell point? Where am I? I'm right here. Ouch! Oh, it's, it's nothing. So don't worry about it. It's just here. <laughs> Easter egg? I don't know. Heads up, Harvest Valley also requires this mod, the crude oil production. However, it is not listed on the website, at least at the time of recording this video. And your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the Lost World from Big Papa. This is a fictional map where your job is to bring life to its dead world and build a developing economy. They say there's no pedestrian or car traffic, 11 fields available for purchase, or 11 farmlands rather they say every piece of wood can be harvested and can be used in the starting income which well yep that's how that works favorable land prices i would have to agree 100 grand for a starting farm a hundred thousand dollars there sorry under look at the wrong thing 27 77 99 54 153 i think which is the most expensive one i mean oh 159 really not that bad it is not a full 2x by 2x map as you can see up and down side to side that's your full map like uh, elm creek for example which we've been doing this video on the whole time um, this is a little bit smaller but it's not too much smaller this is your main farm area we've got a cabin and we also have a building here and well, nothing too much going on with that. The log cabin actually is a required mod. Uh, they have the log cabin by GTX. There's also the forestry cell point from Gamer Designs. Uh, but both of those actually help out and kind of make sense. So uh, you won't hear me complain about that today. Something else not to complain about is the lack of little itty bitty trees on the ground. You guys know those are everywhere on a lot of logging maps, making it almost impossible to actually use the land after you've cut down all the trees. Here, you're not going to find them. It's just painted bushes and big trees, and pretty much all the trees are the same. So makes it really easy. It's done very simply. Again, quick look at the PDA. Here's what we've got. We have two fields. We have one field right about there. And then we have another field up here. Everything else is going to be grassland. Uh, we've got our vehicle shop, gas station, and animal dealer all on the same point. We have forestry cell point and uh, Rick Grimes, which... Uh, it is another cell point. Yeah, they're both right there. Starting equipment's also very minimal. We have the Bureau 6105 and the Velger DK115. And as always, here are your required mods. Jumping over to updates for all platforms, we have the Farmall 1206 version 1001, improved the shadow quality of the front loader consoles. And the only other one is the Easy Still Shed Set version 101, removed not visible collision from Still Shed 5 and added a warehouse. Jumping over to new ones for PC and Mac players. Today we have the Kamaz, Kama 3, 64, 60? I don't, I don't know where the comma three is. Anyway, this is a new semi truck for you guys. 360 horsepower, manual transmission, 350 liters of fuel, and it goes 55 miles an hour. Facing, we have a standard facing, design one, and back end. Cabin view, we do have a couple different setups through here, including that one, which is real, real crazy, but looks super good. I'm gonna go with number two. Saddle position, we've got a couple different bits through here, depending on where you want that to sit. Beacons, we have number one, two, and back to standard again. Capacity is going to be your fuel. If you just want to hold a little bit more fuel, you could go for that. However, it will weigh a little bit more. Heads up there. Main color, we do have all of these colors right here. We're going to go with a heavenly. Does that say heavenly? It is heavenly. Design, we're going to go with black. That's your tanks. And then your rim color, of course, is rim color. It's a good looking truck. Next is a stone quarry. This will drop an amount of stones. And uh, over the course of a month, it'll drop 24,000 liters. Basically, free... Uh, 
free stones for you guys to pick up and use for, well, whatever you want to. Uh, they do have the included script for the placeable simple heap spawner, um, which may be copied using publisher unmodified in any mod. Saying the script is not allowed is from Acumobile, who is basically one of the best at what they do. They do a really good job. Monthly maintenance, 1800 bucks on this, $1,500 construction cost, which is super low, uh, and monthly flow rate, flow rate is 24,000 liters. You can see it is dropping, but this is just kind of the animation that goes with it, and it actually goes down quite far. You can see where the animation stops there. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, we have those fuel tanks, which are branded. I think it's a Pakija, but I'm, I'm not quite sure how to say this. Nonetheless, they are exactly the same, but instead of saying lizard, they say the brand name and you could still change up the two on the right. One mod that's become one of my favorite mods is the increased maximum purchase limit for animals. We have updates for PC and Mac players. Version 1002, multiplayer compatibility fixed. Next up, improved harvester sounds, version 1.1, fixed incorrect ejection sound of the Clutch Jaguar 980, 930. And lastly, today with maze plus version 1.3 grist can now be stored in bunker silos correction of the visual sizes of the round bells in the giant's bell storage full alfalfa and clover integration if it is built into the map clover and alfalfa now also recognized by the conditioner and additive is used fix for production extensions bells for chrome big pack 1270 baylor added Decrease the number of height types used to reduce conflicts with maps and mods. They use additional height types, which is crops, things like that. Parsnips and red beet added to the Maze Plus feeding. Prevent the premium fruits from entering the Maze Plus feeding via premium DLC. Fix for special compost silos and MP sink conditioner fixed. And that is it. Four mod days in a row. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Remember, tomorrow on Friday, we've got a lot of Case IH mods. You don't want to miss those, which means mods five days in a row. Ooh, I don't remember the last time that happened. I'm just so excited. I, I got to end the video right here. So go have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a happy Easter. Yeah, we'll see you later.